So globally, we find ourselves in a biodiversity crisis. And here in Australia, we in fact have the largest mammal extinction rate in the world. So at the moment, we're undertaking the Koala Genome Project in collaboration with Illumina, and that's to create a genomic survey map of all koalas across the eastern seaboard range from northern Queensland all the way down through New South Wales and Victoria. So when Europeans arrived in Australia, koalas were found across the east coast, across their range and the populations were connected. So you had gene flow occurring between populations. And then over time, we've encroached on their habitats. And what that's meant is you start to see habitat fragmentation. And that means that you don't have that historical gene flow that we used to see. The smaller the population becomes, the greater the threat of inbreeding and loss of genetic diversity. And genetic diversity is so critical for many species because the more diversity you have, the greater chance you have to adapt to future changes, which is really important in the current climate change environment that we find ourselves in. So that's something that we hope to counter by using genomic sequencing to manage populations going forward through moving animals, through translocations. For the Koala Project, we were contacted by the lead researchers, Kathy Bellow and Carolyn Hogg. And we have worked with them for many years on conservation programs. So we chose the Illumina DNA PCR field prep for the Koala sequencing. It's a really fast, efficient prep. So the lab doesn't have to spend a lot of time processing the samples to give quality results. The kit actually accommodates a range of inputs and customers often have issues getting the right amount and with a kit that can accommodate from nanogram up to micrograms that gives a, a lot of flexibility. So we've recently started using the Dragon Pipeline for analysing our sequence data and for us it's made a significant difference. So if you think when you're working with a critically endangered species or vulnerable species and you're trying to make conservation decisions based on your sequence data, you can't take months or years to produce the information that you require for your management decisions. And so by having this massive speed and uptake, we're able to provide information to those who need it in a more timely fashion. So we'll be using the NovaSeq 6000 for the koala sequencing. Now that NovaSeq has changed the sequencing scale tremendously in the last few years, it's cost effective and it's fast and it produces exactly what we need. So in the last few years, because sequencing really has exploded and costs have gone down, and because we're always keeping up with the latest technology at the Robert Shorty Centre, research communities that maybe were not using sequencing before can now actually access it. So lots of other species can benefit from these sorts of studies. I think the future for conservation will really be a strong foundation in genomics.